what to do, what to do, da da do, da da do. Hello, it's Tammy Pally, a.k.a. The Crafty Princess, and this is episode 27 of The Crafty Princess Diaries podcast entitled Crafting in Rock Vegas, and I'll explain that in a few minutes. But first, you may notice I have a guest. And I am Terry Carter, her sister, if you can't tell, and uh, I am also known as the Tapping Flamingo. And she has a blog called Tapping Flamingo over at Blogspot, but I will make sure to put the URL um, down here in a caption and also a hot link even further below in my YouTube channel. So let's see, why is it called Rock Vegas, Crafting in Rock Vegas? It's because we are in Rockledge, Florida, and um, I have a friend of mine who calls Rockledge Rock Vegas. (laughs) I don't know why she does that, but it's kind of funny (laughs) because Rockledge is actually quite a small town in Florida. Um, It's much bigger than when we lived here as kids, but it's still pretty small comparatively speaking. But we are over at our parents' house, and we thought we would sneak away, even though you're probably gonna hear some background noise Uh, We wanted to do a quick podcast together. So let's see. Oh, before we go into the crafting, uh, just a reminder on my Ravelry group for the finished objects thread for September, the winner will receive a book, a Coloring Dreams Mandela's book that will be sent out by the publisher. And keep an eye on TammyPally.com because I will be posting some free PDF downloads from this book that the publishers offered for you guys to enjoy. All right, so let's see. Finished objects. Terry's going to go first. What do you have? Well, I have a couple of things. Um, I got my St. Kitts shirt on, just got off of a cruise ship, and so I was able to find some fun things while I was out and about. <clears throat> um, but finished objects. This what is you, finished she's objects. She's got Sorry. acquisitions too. Right? <laughs> I got a couple things. Right. She's got lots of but goodies. <clears throat> one of the things we have a, a elegant night, they call it, and so we dress up. And I bought a dress that had some like chain stuff on it, so I wanted some big earrings, kind of tropical-ish. And so this is what I came up with. And did you just get those supplies like at a local craft store? Just a local craft store. Just went. I had a a dress that kind of looked like water. And so. So that's a little starfish and a pearl. And 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 a a big super crystal-y that's very sparkly. Yep. And they look look really good and they're big. Yeah. That's nice. Very dramatic. Yes. And that's one thing about, you know, you can go and match your clothes or whatever. Right. That's one nice thing about jewelry making. And the other thing that I did, in fact, while I've been here visiting, I actually taught a uh, a class on how to make these bracelets. They're made out of guitar strings. And I put wooden beads on them and just wrapped them with wire. And um, actually, she has a video. Don't you have a video on your, your YouTube on channel? On my YouTube okay. channel, Tapping Flamingo, yeah. yes. She shows you how to basically, ha- just explains how to put it together and stuff. Yes, and here's another one. This is just a basic one. I actually kept the this little, where'd it go? Well, this little, little bead here. Thing, yeah. yeah, which is called an, an in bead and that's how it attaches to the guitar oh okay neat so So you you integrated that into the design exactly yeah and then for that's your finished object. that's my finished object so my finished objects I have a few first of all I got to get out a camera shot oh actually maybe pull it up here okay (laughs) pull it up here this is a surprise that she does not know about oh a flamingo (laughs) This is Tapping Flamingo. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. I mentioned this on my previous podcast. I was working on this guy. Um, I think his name is Gordon, and he is from uh, FreshStitches.com. It is a paper pattern. And, yeah, she, I've been trying to make one of these. I kept saying to myself, I'm going to make her one forever. And this is, of course, a crocheted amigurumi flamingo. Um, it's a very simple pattern. Uh, I think the pattern's only like 4 or $5. It's that much. I, I I think it's actually a $4 pattern. Um, the yarn I used is Brava yarn, and it's a size H hook. So he's super cute. He is cute. And I like the name. He looks like a Gordon. Does he? He does, does. kind of look like a Gordon, doesn't he? Yeah, I thought she picked a good name for that. Yep. She always, Fresh Stitches, she'll always name whatever the animal is, um, which is really cute. So that's a surprise. She did not know I was going to do that. No, I did not. Thank you. (laughs) So the other thing, as you guys know, uh, if you've been watching any of my videos, um, I have started to become obsessed with (laughs) dolls. Okay. She's always liked dolls. (laughs) I have. I have. So um, in fact, if you can hold Emily, you hold Emily. This is, um, what is this? Oh, Madison. Yeah. I almost keep forgetting. My husband named this doll. Madison. Madison. I like that name. I thought that was a good name. Yeah. So, and plus he's being super cool about um, 
dolls. So I'm like, you can name all my dolls, sweetie. <laughs> as long as you just let me buy them, you can name them. <laughs> um, but I have been making uh, little crochet dresses. And I did mention this in my previous podcast, but the difference is I'm now starting to embellish them. And I have a few to show. Um, and this yarn I'm using is sock yarn, so it is a combination of wool and nylon, especially because these are like little tuby things, so you have to slide them on. That's how they get on, so you need some stretch with these. But um, other things I've made, like here's a little top, same, same, really the same design. Again, I just, and I just, I hand stitched on um, a bow. Um, here's the same little top, no bow, but I put a little flower on a skirt to match. And this flower I got from um, the scrapbooking section. So it's actually kind of, I guess it's probably plastic or mm -hmm. resin. I like those flowers. It's cute. And, and I thought, you know, this way, another thing is with these dresses, it's kind of, if you don't, I can tell the difference, but if I were to give this to somebody or say sell these or whatever, it would probably be hard to tell the front from the back for somebody. Oh, yeah. who, so this is another reason why I'm embellishing them. But that one's got a little flower. Um, this one it has got a, this was a sticker. So it's a very, it's like a little doily looking um, butterfly. And then these I'm hand sewing on. This these. is my favorite. She likes this one. This is actually, I think, the first Blythe size dress I made. And it's, you can see it's quite more, it's quite a bit fuller than these ones that they're wearing. I like the flippy. Yeah, Terry bottom. likes it. So I might I might try to make redo this one. I was I've been going in this direction, but maybe I'll make them flippier. Cuz they are pretty cute. But actually these are going to go off to um, a friend of mine who is also a blade collector. So, yeah, those are finished objects and now into acquisitions. Now, okay. So, as I started to say, when I was in St. Kitts, I came across this really cool um, necklace. And now, what are these? What are well, these? though they're seeds. They called them Job beads, as in Job from the Bible. Oh, okay. Um, these are just wooden beads here, but these kind of gray-looking ones are just seeds. And it's it's kind of long. I don't, I don't like long. Like 18 inch comes way down here on me, and so I'm going to shorten this up. Mm -hmm. um, and I may even make, I haven't told my mom this, but I may make this into two necklaces because they only had one of these when I was there and she wanted one. Oh. So I thought, oh, I'll just make two of them. That's a good idea. Yeah. And of course I'll have to put other beads in, which while I was in Puerto Rico, I mm -hmm. walked into this one um, store. I didn't realize it was a bead shop. Yay. And you could actually go in there and pick out beads and make your own jewelry. I didn't do that. Oh, so they, would, the they would let you make it there? Yeah. Okay, that's good. But fun. I picked out, I could have gone a lot crazier, but we didn't really have the time nor did I have the money. But I I bought so this, this Is this a, rose quartz? Or I, mean, I don't know what this is. It could be dyed, but it's, very, I it's a very pretty pink. just really thought it was a pretty pink. Um, I don't think it's really coming across the same color on the screen, though, is it? It's coming, I don't know, because it's kind of more clear. Right. Yeah, it's kind of a, almost a, like a peachy ballet pinkish. Yes, exactly. Ballet pink, I would mm -hmm. say, like ballet yeah. shoe colors. And then these are fun. They're just all different color of glass. And they're faceted. Type. They're all faceted. And then um, fish, I had to get some fish. They're little pewter fish. Those are fun. And then these crystals. Ooh. These are kind of... Um, green and like a dark green and maybe a light green and then the silver and these nice. are real sparkly I love these and then my my new granddaughter her name is Crystal Jewel so I had to we're gonna start collecting little crystals and so I purchased a little crystal for her. I don't remember what this was called because it's some kind of stone. I don't Oops. speak Spanish. Maybe. Oh yeah, that was an issue. I guess. <laughs> that was an issue. Whoops. But uh, this one maybe I some just, kind of jasper. That's what I'm wondering. She kept saying, uh, "What or, was it? Or, or, green, or is it agate? Like green I, moss agate? I bet that's what it is. Something like that." She kept saying it was like unikite. She goes, "No, no, not unikite. No, not yeah, unikite. It's definitely not unikite." But yeah. it's but it's really a pretty color. And then I also bought, um, oh, this is pretty. this is really pretty. Down in that area of the Caribbean, they have what they call 
Oh, I forgot what this was called. Oh, I can't remember now either. Uh, you know what? We'll just have to put it down here. <laughs> right. But I'll that's Laramar. Laramar, yeah. It's, it's a very pale green, greenish it's, bluish. Mm. There. We have lighting issues because we're, you know, my yeah. parents live in a cave. Of course, I, I do Their too. house was <laughs> built in the 80s when they did not put overhead lighting, so. Yes. <laughs> anyway, that's all my goodies that I actually purchased. So basically, your, your future crafting endeavors will be to re um, rework some of this yes. jewelry and use some of your um, acquisitions to make more jewelry. Right. Yeah. And I will probably do a video on it. Neat. Okay, yeah, because she does videos too, so make sure you go over to her Tapping Flamingo channel, which I will put a URL again down there. And um, it's my future... Let's see if I find my little thingy. I'm going to make more dresses. I have a couple of other project um, or design ideas for them. And I'm going to make some more of the, the sheath type ones, but I'm going to add um, some, if I can find them in here, little embellishments, like more of these little um, bows but you can't really see them. <laughs> I have a bunch of bows. Oh, like these, um, again, these are just stickers. I had, to, I did have to use some um, glue to get these on because they, they stick on, but, you know, with the, the yarn, it doesn't really stay. And these so are really pretty. They person. are. They have, they kind of are faceted, mm -hmm. too. Um, so my, I'm kind of getting obsessed now with making the dresses. Like I said, I have some, um, at least one friend, if not a couple, that I will be making some and just sending them off to. But, I'm also toying with the idea of um, A, using these in the craft book that I've been working on as a project and possibly B, selling them in my Etsy shop um, because, I mean, I've been buying doll clothes <laughs> so um, and I've seen some really cute crochet clothes but um, nothing is that exactly like this design, I will say, so um, we'll see. I'm going to kind of put some out there and see what doll people have to say about them. But That's otherwise, okay. yeah. I mm -hmm. think that's kind of it. Is that everything? I believe so. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and have a wonderful crafting day. We will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. What I do, 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 what I do. What I do, what I do, what I do, what I do.